We share Missouri with wildlife, and while most of the time there are no issues, sometimes humans and wildlife can come into conflict when critters cause damage while living nearby or taking up residence in our homes. We call those nuisance wildlife. While sometimes regulated in-season hunting or exclusion methods can be used to eliminate or reduce nuisance wildlife issues, in this video we will discuss a third method, trapping, and focus on two species, raccoons and skunks. First thing is getting the appropriate trap. We recommend cage traps with dimensions of at least 10 inches by 12 inches by 32 inches. You can purchase a cage style trap at most hardware and garden supply stores. They may also be available from some local municipal animal control agencies by loan or for rent by local nuisance wildlife control operators. To trap raccoons, start with your 10 by 12 by 32 inch trap. For rooftop trapping, place the trap on a shaded area near known raccoon activity. Secure it so it won't fall off and put it on a board to avoid raccoon damage to surrounding shingles. In attics, set the trap near where evidence of raccoons is seen. When trapping on the ground, stake down your trap to keep these quick learning critters from flipping the trap and stealing the bait or escaping. Next, bait with cat food or sardines. To avoid accidentally capturing neighborhood cats, you may want to chew sweets like bread with jelly or marshmallows as bait. After the raccoon is captured, be sure to make repairs if the raccoon was entering a house or other structure. To be sure all the raccoons are captured, secure a grocery bag over the hole. If animals are still using this entrance, the bag will be torn. Please note, adult raccoons often share space with their offspring from April to August. So before trapping and making repairs, be sure no young are present. When dealing with skunks, generally speaking, they are even tempered and reluctant to spray, unless harassed. But if you encounter a skunk, remain calm, keep your distance, and avoid sudden movements. Restrain pets so they won't cause the skunk to spray. For trapping skunks, a fully enclosed cage-style trap or PVC tube trap can be effective and reduce the potential for spraying. If the skunk has burrowed under your house or structure, position the trap to block the entrance and add chicken wire wings to herd the skunk toward the trap. Bait the trap with fish-based cat food or sardines. After capture, you will need some protection while approaching the trap. I like to use a large piece of material like an old bed sheet but even a large plastic trash bag will do. Hold it in front of you as you approach the trapped skunk. Then gently drape the material over the trap to keep the skunk calm. Move quietly, deliberately, and avoid sudden movements to minimize the potential for spraying. For safety, whenever your fingers or hands are in the vicinity of wildlife, be sure to wear thick protective leather gloves. You may be tempted to relocate your trapped animal, but there are several good reasons not to do that. Moving an animal can spread disease. A relocated animal does not know where to find food or other resources and may likely starve to death. You may be moving the animal into the home range of other animals causing conflicts, with one or more getting injured or killed. Moving the animal might simply create a problem for someone else at the new location. Most federal, state, and local agencies prohibit the release of wildlife on lands they own or manage, including Missouri Department of Conservation properties. If you wish to dispatch your trapped nuisance wildlife on your own, a properly placed gunshot will result in a humane death. This method is recognized by the American Veterinary Medical Association as humane. For more on their guidelines, you can follow this link. If you prefer not to dispatch your captured nuisance wildlife yourself, nuisance wildlife control operators have special equipment for euthanasia and may accept captured wildlife for a small fee. Likewise, local municipal animal control agencies can also help. After the animal has been dispatched, there are a few ways to dispose of the carcass. It can be buried or placed in an out of the way area where it can be recycled by nature or you can bag the animal and deposit it for regular garbage pickup. You may want to freeze the carcass before placing it in the trash. 
In every case, always be sensitive to the feelings of others when dispatching wildlife and disposing of the remains. If you decide trapping is something you do not want to attempt on your own, you can contact a local nuisance wildlife control operator. For a list, follow this link. All the methods described earlier have often been found effective in humanely removing nuisance wildlife from your property. For additional information, please visit this Missouri Department of Conservation website. Thank you for watching.